patient safety because there is thousands and hundreds of errors that are happening every day. Uh, and uh, these errors are preventable. Uh, and in order to make the public aware of these errors, uh, we have to talk about it. In neonatology, uh, two things. We prescribe a lot of antibiotics. Uh, and so you can talk about a couple of types. Of, one is the error of commission, which is where you prescribe the wrong antibiotics. Uh, that doesn't happen very, very much, but even one is too much. Right? So we want to try to prevent that. Um, the other uh, error is, is, is whether we give antibiotics for what duration. It's not really an error, but it's about quality. Okay? So there's best practices. Okay? What's the best practice of treating a, a baby with se uh, sepsis, with the infection? Do you do it two days? Do you do it seven days? So another way of uh, sharing is to, sh to teach each other how best to practice. So, and that relates to patient safety the, in a way because what it does is improve the quality of the care that we give. So uh, you're not really making errors, but you're improving the uh, quality that you give, the, the way you treat patients, so that the quality is the best quality, rather than me mediocre quality. So in neonatology, we have a, uh, what we do uh, at, at back home is we have a checklist. Uh, and every Monday and Thursday, depending on, on, on uh, the time, uh, during rounds, we, uh, we ask uh, all the medications reconcile. Uh, what, are the, what are the medications the babies are on? What medi um, and then we go over the medication. It only takes about 30 seconds. Okay? And we did actually did a, a, a pilot study where we looked at, when we do the checklist, how long does it add to the rounding time? Okay? Almost nothing, almost nothing. In fact, what it does is it saves us time later on. So the pharmacists don't have to call and say, Oh, uh, this is a little bit unclear. What is it? Or oh, do you still want the baby to be on uh, ranitidine do you, or uh, these antibiotics? So we do this uh, medication reconciliation on, on rounds for the everyday medications. The other thing we do is when the babies come in from another hospital, we reconcile the medications to make sure that what they were taking at home uh, is, uh, is, is, is what they really want to be given, receiving in the hospital. The reason for that is um, we have a electronic medical record. And sometimes the medication list is incomplete. If we don't fix it then, what happens when the baby is discharged, we are part of the entire healthcare team, right? So what we do in the ICU affects what they do in the ambulatory setting. So we have a duty to fix any discrepancies in the medication uh, uh, list uh, for the baby so that when the baby gets discharged and goes to their primary care physician, that mistake is fixed. Okay, so you know, so, so I think that's really important. So that's the other part of the medication reconciliation. And then when the baby leaves the hospital, we go over the list again. Oh, okay, is this the right medication? And then do it, does the parents know how to give the medication? Very, very important, right? So we make sure the parents are taught how they're comfortable giving the medication. And then the third thing that we do is we now have a program where we do telemedicine. So that when the parents leave the hospital, we do a video chat with them two days later, and we make sure how are things going, uh, are you doing the medications, can I see the medication, sometimes we ask the parents, can you mix the medication for me and let me see if it's the way, right? And so all of those steps are done so that the babies don't re get the wrong medication. I think one of the uh, ways to reduce it is to think of us all as a team, and as a team that is intelligent, and when we talk about intelligence, we don't talk about the IQ of the team, we talk about how well the team can work together to use each other's uh, expertise to trust one another to be psychologically safe so that when I uh, have a, a question I can feel safe to ask my colleagues oh I, I don't quite agree or I have a I, I have a, a question about this uh, and to then be aware that hey we have a problem with with medication errors okay sometimes the people want to deny that they say, oh we don't have a problem at all but to be aware to be situationally aware that we have a problem and then to together come up with the solutions and then once we come up with the solutions, then together with the team to implement the solution. Because implementation is, is the other half. Okay, so we come up with the solutions, but we have to implement. It's very important that hospital administration, doctors, nurses, healthcare workers understand that um, if we don't change the way we 
uh, work as teams together, uh, we're going to get the same results. The medication errors, the patient safety numbers, statistics will not change.